Hi, everyone. My name is Mark Worlow, and uh, I have with me Tom Campbell, who's the incoming president of Virginia Realtors. Uh, I'm the managing broker for Fathom Realty in Northern Virginia. Uh, so my agents know me, but this I, I'm putting this out uh, on Facebook overall because I think this is a very important topic, and that is why people should be invested in their local association and why they should get involved. So, uh, Tom, can you give me a little bit of background about you, uh, not necessarily about the association, but who you are? Well, like Mark said, I'm Tom Campbell. Um, Mark and I are classmates from the great class of 1977 from the Naval Academy. Um, basically, I've gotten into real Notice estate. I got my Naval Academy shirt on, Tom. <laughs> no, there you go. Um, basically, I got involved in real estate back in 1997. I thought I was going to be this big uh, investor type person buying homes, flipping homes with other people's money. And that's just not who I was. I got my license so that I could, when I bought all of these properties, I'd also get paid as a realtor. But I really found that I enjoyed helping people sell homes and buy homes. Um, it's, it's a big undertaking. And I know that there are a lot of agents out there, but I wanted to be that agent that they could go to, that they could trust, that they knew that they could trust what I did. Um, so basically I've been doing this since 1997. Um, and uh, that's my real estate stuff. Okay, Tom, thank you. So, why? So I know you've been involved, and we're going to get into that a little bit you know, later. But you've been involved in in local associations and now with the state. Um, but why do you think it's important that realtors get involved with their local associations? One, you're needed, especially new agents, especially agents who've never been involved before, because there's a lot of you guys all have a, a lot of good ideas. Folks that have been in the business quite a while, they've seen how associations work, how they help them, how they've not helped them. Um, it, it's kind of like if you're not at the table, you're kind of on the menu type of a, of a thought. But I, I think everyone should get involved in their association. If you know how the association runs, you get some great um, networking. You get to meet other agents um, and the associations are there to help you, not there just to take your dues money, um, but they're there to help you. They provide you with a lot of things. Some associations have free education. Others have um, committees that they that they work on, um, public policy uh, committees that help um, generate um trust between local and state and national um, leaders. So, yeah, it, it's very important for people to get involved. Um, the first time I got involved, I got involved because there wasn't enough ethics instructors. So I became an ethics instructor. And then from there, this is where it's led to. Well, and it's funny, Tom, um, I, I remarked the fact that uh, for years I was never involved in, in my and my home association, which is Prince William Association of Realtors, I'm, I'm a member of all six of the you know, Northern Virginia associations now. But uh, a friend of mine, Lee Odom, who, you know, God rest his soul, is a great guy, one of the best people you'd ever meet, uh, called me one day and said, hey, Mark, uh, I, I'd really like to see if you could get involved. And I'm like, well, Lee, I'm really not that guy. And he goes, well, I, I really think it would be worthwhile. And um, and so I said, look, Lee, I, I do it, but I want to get involved. I want to be on a committee that I think that I can contribute, where I can contribute. And he goes, well, I'm the, uh, I'm, I'm the uh, co-chair for the, the education committee. And I said, sure, I'll do it. About a year after I joined the committee, we're sitting at a table and Lee looks directly at me and says, well, everybody, uh, and I can't remember who the other co-chair was. He said, but uh, such and such and I are stepping down. Uh, from being the chair of education, I'll be running for the board. And, and so I want to you know, let everybody know about that and congratulate Mark on taking over as chair. And I'm like deer in the headlights. Like, what? And I'm looking at him like, 
really, Lee? I, and he goes, uh, so Mark, uh, next year you'll be chair. And I, and I was floored. That was very rewarding to me. I got a lot out of that. And that's how I started on my role in being involved. And I'm not nearly as involved as you have been, but just you get involved in different ways and, and brought into this. And talking to anybody that I've ever you know discussed this with, they've not regretted the involvement. You know, I, I get uh, comments from people all the time. Why are you involved? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? And, and I said, you know, I get out of it as much as I put into it. I know people all across the state now. And when people have referrals, who do they call? Somebody that they know. Uh, people who are moving from the Virginia Beach area, being transferred, military, up here to Northern Virginia. I get phone calls from those people. Um, so it's not all about giving, giving, giving. You do get, um, and you'll get out of it as much as you could, as you put into it. I know there are so many agents out there that feel that associations are a necessary evil, but no, they're a necessary good for our okay. associate, for, for what we do. Okay. Well, you know, it's it's one of the things that, that I have thought of and talked about, and you and I have addressed on a couple of occasions, is being involved in your local association is important. Uh, for agents who have been in the business for a while and understand what goes on in our markets, et cetera. But do you think it's worthwhile for a brand new agent to get involved in the association? Or do you feel that they should wholly, you know, concentrate on their business? Getting established in their business is very important. But the amount of time that is required of you to be on some of these committees at the local associations it's not that much. Sometimes it might be one a month, one one hour a month, or maybe it's an ad hoc type of a committee that they're doing the re awards ceremony or the uh, installation ceremony or something like that. And you work on it for a couple of couple, three, four weeks and you're done. But it also it has gotten you ingrained with your other um, colleagues from other companies, how people do things. And it's, it's just a great experience. So yeah, if you're a new agent, um, I know when I teach the, the um, ethics to brand new agents, one of the big things I tell them is you need to go talk to the girls in the front office to see how you can get involved. That's where we all start. Okay. And so what, what brought you on this path? I mean, we talked a little bit about it, but what brought you on the path to where you've been involved at both the state and national level? Well, what got me involved was, like I said, they needed ethics instructors. So I became an ethics instructor. And then I said, okay, well, if I'm into this education stuff. Let me see how the rest of the education goes. And I got on the education committee at Greater Piedmont. From there, I've always had a liking for public policy and advocacy. So I joined the Public Policy Committee. And as I started learning more things about it, it's like, you know, maybe just being on a committee is just not the only thing you want to do. Let, let, I mean, let's face it. We're Naval Academy graduates. Leadership is in our blood. All right. I said, OK, let me look into getting onto the board. Got onto the board at Greater Piedmont. Was there one year ran for um, secretary treasurer, and then worked my way up through there. Once I got done with that, then it's like, I said, well, I, I actually, let me go back a step. I went to the Virginia Leadership Academy where I met more people across the state. And all of these were fine leaders. Some were already presidents of their locals. Um, some were already on the board of directors at uh, Virginia Realtors. And it became infectious. I wanted to do this because I felt I had something to offer. So I um, finished up Leadership Academy, finished up uh, my tour on uh, at um, Greater Piedmont, and then uh, ran for the board of directors 
for Virginia Realtors, got on that. I was on that board for one year and the current treasurer had to step down. So I said, well, you know what? You're going to run one of these days for a leadership position. So why don't you just go ahead and throw your name in the put your name in the hat? Because at that time, only one other person was running. I said, OK, at least get your name out there. Well, lo and behold, I won. Um, and it was a year. He still had another year left on his term that had to be finished out. So I finished out that term. And my philosophy has always been, if you know where the money is, you know how to run an association. So I ran a second year in order to really get ingrained in the finances. Um, in the meantime, I, I I won that that second election, and then worked my way up through the uh, through the ranks to where I'm now will be the 2024 president. Um, professional standards. I love professional standards. I ran for um, a committee, um, was not really qualified for professional standards at that time. So I was placed on um, the public policy coordinating committee, which I had a lot of uh, uh, experience in, sat on that committee for two, three year terms, ran for um, the public, uh, or I'm sorry, professional standards committee and finishing up my first three year term. And I'll be applying for that again for 2025. And probably will apply for vice chair at that time too. Is that for the state or for national? That's national. That's okay. national. Okay. So that involvement started at the local at some lower levels and has brought you into uh incoming president for Virginia Realtors and into policy and professional standards on the national level. So and that and that's very significant. And one of the things that I think that also people tend to miss, and I think you you'll agree with me and you feel free to agree or disagree is the fact that there are so many different ways that people can get involved in their commit in their in their local associations. Um, you know, I, I'm an instructor. I don't sit on the board of any of these uh, associations, but I'm an instructor, and therefore I'm involved in in training and getting people, you know, uh, better professional, you know, better making them better professionals. I hope. Uh, just like you said, just sitting on, you know, a, a board or a, a committee that just is, may not be professional standards or education, but it's something that's contributory to the well-being of the, the local association. Um, and, and again, tell me if you think that the, I'm in error with this, but one of the things that I think we hear, especially with the lawsuits and everything going on is, oh, what does my local association do for me? What is the state? I don't know what, and it, well, if you're not a participant, then you don't know. And if you're involved, then you realize where things are that are so beneficial to you. And maybe if you don't see the benefit, maybe it allows you to, to be in a position to change and create a benefit. Well, I, I agree. You know, if you're, if you're just going to sit around and complain about what we do or we what we don't do, um, I always say, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So get involved. Um, this this past year, I I had the privilege of filling out all of the committees um, for Virginia Realtors. That was my my first act as coming in as president. Um, Three hundred and twelve agents <clears throat> stepped up and volunteered for these different committees and they weren't just we just throw them out there willy-nilly we we see who has been doing this in a while give them greater uh, responsibilities maybe move them up from a um i don't like to use the word lesser but not as a demanding committee um and then move them up because yeah, all, the, all the committees are important it's just the the level of impact let's say Exactly. Like the public policy committee. I mean, they set the uh, legislative agenda for the year and they'll meet when the uh, legislature is in. Um, so they'll meet pretty much from January through uh, April um, and they'll review bills and they'll get rid of bills that hurt the homeowner or hurt our profession. Um, the uh, professional development, the education folks. 
that's a great committee uh, to get on. So no, whatever, everybody has uh, a, a passion and there's a committee out there that you can be on. And um, I say, if you haven't done it, you really need to try and do it. Okay. Well, Tom, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. I know you've been pretty busy and uh, I know that you've got some great initiatives and, and things ready for Virginia realtors and and I, I, I appreciate you taking the time, uh, not only taking the time, but but being such a great friend. So and we'll talk to you later, Tom. Thank you. Well, thank you for the opportunity. You have a All great right. day. All right. Bye.